In this portion of our basics of retrieving our sequence data, we're going to discuss how we can use our nucleotide sequence to blast search and identify our bacterial species from the 16S rRNA gene sequence samples. So the other file that you have ret been returned by from the company is the .seq file. Now this file can be opened using Word or any other processing program. And when you open this, you will see a single letter nucleotide sequence of your entire sequence sample. At the beginning of the sequence is what we have is the FASTA format, which is a greater than sign, followed by an identifying uh, bit of information. There must be a new paragraph or return at the end of this before the sequence can start. Now, during our chromatograph video, I discussed how Sequence data is not always clear in some areas, so it is important, especially at the beginning and end, to clean up our nucleotide sequence before blast searching. To do this, we can note where this area is on the chromatogram, then come in and delete areas of our sequence. In particular, we want to make sure areas where there are a lot of ends, signifying that there are multiple options for the nucleotide base present, we want to remove. So below I have a sequence that I have uh, removed all the beginning and end data that is unclear. Now I can copy the sequence and paste it into our BLAST search uh, tool. So BLAST can be found at NCI, NCBI database and we want to do a nucleotide BLAST. So if we select nucleotide BLAST we are uh, given a query, query box where we are able to paste in our sequence, and it's okay if there are some gaps and spaces, the uh, sequence is still intact. We want to make sure it has our FASTA sequence signal up at the top. And we can leave everything else alone, and we can just go ahead and blast. Now this page you'll get, and it can update multiple times, may take up to a minute sometimes, depending on how busy the database is. What will happen, though, is once it has finished your search, You'll retrieve a page like this. First, you'll see your graphic summary, which just shows your query, which is on top in length, followed by the length of the query of the of the sample sequences that are aligned below that have been identified. So if we scroll down more, we'll get a little bit more information about these sequences. So here we see our top hit is a staph, a strain of a species of bacteria, and um, it's important to kind of check and make sure that you are looking at uh, sequences that are the 16S ribosomal RNA gene. That is what you put in for sequencing and that is what you should expect to find as a match. Now we have other areas here that talk about um, the score compared to your sequence as well as how much the sequence covers. So we have 100% coverage of your sequence and this Staphylococcus uh, species sequence. The e-value is an important uh, factor that you need to take into consideration. The higher the e-value, or the, the, the lower the e-value, the closer to zero, the more significant the uh, match is. Here we can see that all of our e-values are zero. Um, I think that is because there are a lot of Staphylococcus strains that have been submitted um, into the the database. And so we have a lot of Staphylococcus, Saprophyticus found um, to compare to. So now that we have what we think is our top hit, uh, there are a couple other things we can find on this site. Below, we can look at the sequence match itself. So here is our um, query, so our sequence compared to this sequence of the staph genome. And you can look at all of the base pair matching uh, here and it seems to match up quite well. We can also scroll back to the top where we will find something called taxonomy reports. And this is of interest uh, just to kind of see the lineage or the taxonomy of our bacteria. So you can see if it's related to any of the other bacteria you guys have found. From this you can kind of take notes on how uh, what you found and um, you'll have your bacteria. And you can determine how confident you are 
that what you have isolated is what the sequence has uh, matched to.